Like I mentioned earlier, Ballarat is known for being a gold rush town. And while the boom of the mid-1800s might be over, there's still some precious stuff to be found. So I met with a couple of passionate dog owners who also happen to be avid fossickers to learn about this fun hobby. How often do you guys come out and look for gold? Well, I live um, around the Chewton, Castlemaine area, so I normally try this time of the year. Yep. Uh, on the weekends. Yeah. And my sister. Yeah, we visit once a month because this is uh, Axel's time with his cousin. Yeah. Hakim. Yeah, so we try and do that yeah, once a month at least. It's a good way to get, take the dogs for a walk, something yeah. different. It is. It is. Yeah. It keeps and you fit. And it's exciting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every time it well. makes a noise, I'm like, oh, what have we got? I'm going to stop talking. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably another bit of rubbish, but they say you never assume because um, you just don't be, know. Could be a big piece of gold right up the top. Yeah, so. Do you find a lot? Is there? Is it not? Oh, the biggest piece I found was nine grams, just over nine grams. Wow. Yeah. yeah. There's about. Depends on the price of gold, but four hundred, four hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Right. It's the only sort of hobby. It actually costs a bit to get. Yeah, the equipment. it doesn't look cheap. Yeah. But the more time you put into it, the more you'll get out of yeah. it. And, the and it could pay for itself. <laughs> yeah. So um, I've actually upgraded to this detector yeah. with the previous goal I found. It's not, there's not many yeah. hobbies that you, like say, pay for themselves yeah. to, to yeah. agree. And you're getting out, the dogs yeah. are having a great yeah. time. Yeah, correct. And you get to find, and it's golden and it's exciting. It is, it is. You just have to teach the dogs to find it. <laughs> or <laughs> If I could get them to sniff the gold out, it would be even better. I've got to be honest, when they said foster, foster came for gold with the dogs, I'm like, do they actually sniff the gold out and yeah. do like, you know, yeah, like truffle detectors. hunting? <laughs> the only thing, you have to keep them away from the actual metal. Oh yeah, because they've, they've, got... they've got... The metal has got on metal their harnesses on them. and they will affect the gold. But. Yeah. Well, do you have to worry about snakes when you come out here? Look, you always have to be alert, especially if um, you know, you're doing gold detecting during summer. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I always keep the dogs on the lead. Yeah. yeah. I didn't realise there'd be that many people coming here, but we've already seen like four people. Yeah. Oh, it's just a great thing to do on the yeah. weekend, and you know, it doesn't, you, there's no age, you know, no. list. Well, it's exciting because it, you to just. Do. Yeah, it's the not knowing. Yeah, every time and the it hoping. makes a noise, I'm like, oh, what is it? And I've yeah. been doing it for an hour. Yeah, and the hoping and... Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, there's something there. Come here, Axel. Come here. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> just, back a bit. just in case it's the leads. Yeah. All right. There so there's something in that bit there. So does the intensity of the noise change depending on it how big does. it is? It does. I dare say this will be rubbish. Yeah, but you're always but you never <laughs> you're know. Always hopeful. Yeah. They always say you need to dig up everything. Because if you don't, you just leave well, the gold on the it ground. Well, could be a big piece of gold right up the top, yes. Because that will scream at you. We need to teach you to dig, Axel. You could dig it out. You could sniff it out and then That's dig it. it out. All right. So it's in this bit of dirt there. So exciting. Yeah. So you scoop it out. Yeah. Not in oh, and that's how you know it's not in that pile. Not in that one. You can't get in there. Come here. Mm -hmm. What is this? This is just the process of elimination. Yes. Oh, yeah, I can see it already. Oh, can you? Yeah, it's a big piece of rust. Oh, it's, uh, it's half a nut. The axle's <laughs> nice to see it too. Yeah, so you can smell it. It's not gold. It's a little bit of disappointment, but it's. Yeah, yeah, I want to keep going. Quite this a bit awesome. of that around. Yeah. 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 But it's. Uh, what percentage would it be like for. Oh, God. 99.9% 99. <laughs> 99 <laughs> and the rest. Yeah. A little bit of gold. But then again, like, you can go. I can go over this area and come back next week because there's no way you're going to scan 100% of the ground. For sure. And uh, I could go over this again next week and there could be a piece of gold there, you know. So it's really important um, when you do find rubbish to actually take it back with you. Like, don't leave it because someone might come down, like just what we did, find it, be hopeful, you know, while they're looking for it and digging, only to find it is just a piece of metal yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it's just a so, And yeah, it's good for the environment. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. that's right. And we also, uh, every hole that we dig, we fill it up again because we don't want people tripping over it. Yeah, that's that's just you put it Look back after in everybody. Yeah. We could um, find 50 bits of rubbish around, but when you find that one bit of <laughs> yeah. gold in your hand, 
it just re-energizes you again yeah. and you just want to continue but going. But you're hopeful on. each time. Yeah. yeah. Listen, like, I've, like, heart racing. I've only just started doing this and yeah. I've got that gold fever. Like, <laughs> I want to keep going and... Yeah. Go like, home and buy your own I want to check some more spots in case, you know, we find something. Come on, Hakim. <laughs>